remember guys, if you want to see my videos and get notified about them, you have to subscribe and you gotta hit the bell or you won't know. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm super excited because we're doing what? Another Taste Test Tuesday. I don't know if you've been enjoying these, but I get to eat stuff, so they're going to keep coming. Let's get stuck. Wait, hold on. What t-shirt am I wearing today? We are wearing the Vintage Britney. Now, this was given to me by my very best friend, Sal. Let's see if he watches these videos and see if he notices that I... You know, I'm super excited because I was in Chinatown the other day. I live in a city that has one, and I love going there. It's such a fun, vibrant place to go. And I thought, what a perfect opportunity to do a Taste Test Tuesday. Ew! Okay. So, let's get started. You're about to watch me eat on the internet. This video was brought to you by no one. I don't even know where to start. Let's start with the thing that I think I'm most excited for. But we know how that went last time. The kiwi. These. These are called, I don't know what they're called, um, but they say every burger on them. So they are, in fact, burgers. I'm not reading the label, but these are a product of Japan. So Japan, thank you so much. I have products today from Japan, China, Singapore, and Thailand. So sit back and let's tour Asia. I love, I love the packaging. So you have these little burgers. I love the fonts, the colors. They just, they are not like the US that uses Helvetica for everything and it's white and it's very, boom. If you don't know what Helvetica is, Helvetica is a font that is used everywhere in North America since probably the late 60s, I would say. So they don't use Helvetica. So I'm opening these now. Ah! Blind bags! <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, so there there seems to be something in here. Not so there's like oh that is Ugh. so there's a little cartoon inside. It's a spot the difference. Cutest! This is the wrapping that it came in. It's adorable. I love it. So let's see what's inside. Oh, I opened it upside down. These are exactly what I thought they were. They are adorable burgers, but it is chocolate, white chocolate, and biscuit. It's adorable. So the next thing that I want to try are these. They're so cute. Hello Pandas. Um, I've had the chocolate ones before, but I can't so long ago. So the thing on the cover says that it's made with a strawberry cream. I love strawberry. Strawberry milkshakes are my favorite. But I want to know. Are they really that creamy? So these are the, this is the box. It's adorable, like everything else. They come in these little packages. Again, adorable, like everything else. Whoo! Wow. That is very strawberry. So they have these adorable little images. This is a bear fencing. But let's eat one. Okay. So they are okay. Um, I, I, the cream is very clotted. It's not creamy at all. I'm underwhelmed. I'm just underwhelmed. Mmm. Let's try the chips now. I bought two different kinds. These are from Lay's. These are a product of China. And they are tomato flavored. So let's give it a go. I have a sneaking suspicion that they are going to taste like uh, our pizza flavored things, like those pizza flavored like pokies. They're hearts. They're like three dimensional. Everything's 3D now, don't you think? Mmm. These are freaking good. And they're legit hearts. Let's just put that against the backdrop. And they don't taste like pizza. They taste more like tomato. Another Canadian fact. We are the only country that has ketchup chips. Our ketchup chips are amazing. They're like my favorite. Yerm. All right. The next thing that I want to do is... Uh, sorry, guys. I'm... <gasps> How long has that white thing been there? That is not a seamless backdrop. Uh, I'm not happy about that. I am so sorry. I took you away from my gray fantasy. So the next thing that I'm going to be trying are these. It looks like a chocolate bar, but they're chips. They're little chips, and I don't know what it is. It looks like miso soup. These are a product of... 
I don't want to guess. I'm going to need a minute. I'm going to look up where these are from. Hold on. It is Japanese. I figured it out. Thank you. Now I'm going to eat it. Okay, so these are either, I don't know, onion or miso. Mmm, that smells like a really good, like, oh, it smells like noodle soup, like, um, like miso soup, maybe. Well, I know that miso soup doesn't have noodles in it, but I'm dead. I'm not gonna lie, I just saw onions on it. This is, like, sour cream and onion. They're tiny. They're, like, the cutest things ever. Mmm. Mmm. That is unattractive eating. These are so good. They're like the richest sour cream and onion chips you've ever had. Can't even just eat one. Mmm. What up? I love those. Hey. This is the cutest thing ever. So, I need water. Oh, I just need some water because those are so salty, but frig, they're so good. I don't even care. I can't read. The best thing about this is I can't read any of the nutritional facts. I love it, but I also don't know what's in any of it, so. Cute little packaging. Um, this guy looks like SpongeBob. If you can't see it from there, maybe I'll close up, or maybe I won't. I don't know. So the reason why I'm getting really close to this and uncomfortable, and God, I got a big forehead. Is because I want to show the packaging of these. This is adorable. It says gummy candy right there. Okay, so I think the one I'm most intrigued with is this guy right here. Banana and milk. So that's that. So let's try it. Squishy, squishy, squishy. First impressions, right? So my first impressions of these are they, they smell more like banana when you open them than they do tastes like banana. I have no idea what this is. It looks like Spongebob. It is like kind of squishy. So it's like this. It's this. It's a pull apart. Oh, there's like a, there's like gelatin in the middle. Okay. Okay. It is like marshmallow with a lemon gelatin inside of it. A lot of people out there don't like gelatin, but I do. I am. Mm. And it's like a stale marshmallow. I'm sorry. Now, <clears throat> this I'm excited for. It kind of looks like a strawberry fig Newton. Yeah, so without further ado, a deer, which you guys love when I say that. Mm. Okay. It's broken. Let me show you. Here's the product. It's broken to bits, so I actually have to take a really big bite of it. It's exactly what I thought it would be. A strawberry version of a Fig Newton. There's no fig in it. Ow! I went down the wrong one. Ah! You know when you drink something and you gulp it and there's a bubble? Yeah, that just happened to me. I think this is the one I'm most excited for. He's the cutest. Mm, I, I'm getting, well, they're just gummy candies. Like that. Ding! <laughs> it's not real fruit juice, but it's the chemical one, and I love a chemical fruit juice. Or way more smell than taste. Like, I'm not getting much off of these little kitties. And that's that. Okay, I'll be back for my last one. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm not even gonna lie, I just left my bedroom for a set. Sorry. I just left my filming studio, and it smells like chemical fruit juice in here. So, the last one, things that I'm gonna eat on camera today, because everyone loves when I eat on camera, let's get real, are these. They are called Machi Ice, Machi Lice Dessert. Cool mixes. You gotta keep them frozen. So they are just like ice cream. They are from Obueno. They are coconut milk based, non-dairy, gluten-free, vegan, zero trans fat. Blah. Just a lot of goodness, I guess. Like this is probably the healthiest thing I've ever put on here. 
Definitely better than those Kiwis. Everything's better than those Kiwis. These are a product of Thailand. Yay, I love, well, I've never been. I need to go to Asia. I would love it there. I know I would. So we have green tea, chocolate, mango, vanilla, strawberry, black sesame, coconut, and passion fruit. I want to try them all, but I'm not going to. I'm going to try the coconut because, like I said before, coconut is my favorite. And I, it's hard to... I think this is coconut. Yeah, this is definitely coconut. I'm getting a very faint coconut. Okay, here we go. You're frozen. I mean... I think I might have grabbed the vanilla one because the inside is like really good. It's like ice cream. Like there's like a shell that doesn't melt. It's like it's really crazy. The difference between the soft outside. Let me just show you. On the packaging you can see how there is the ice creamish center. And then there's that, what looks like a skin on the outside. It's a little strange because it's, it, it doesn't melt like ice cream. All right, let's do one more. Let's do strawberry. Mmm. No smell. Absolutely no smell. No. Mm -mm. Oh my God. Oh. I don't know what that is, but that is not, that is not strawberry. No, I don't like it. No, 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 I'm done. I'm over this. Uh-uh. Mm -mm. No more. Ah! I'm good. Ew! Matcha desserts. Maybe not. Maybe not so matcha. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Okay, so, that was Fun. Thank you, Chinatown, for supplying all of this goodness. Except for these. I did not buy these in Chinatown. I bought these at the grocery store. Ugh. No, no, no. I love the burgers. I love the chips. I think the only, like, these pink things would be, like, the only sort of disappointing thing that I had. The only reason why I call this disappointing is because it didn't really taste that much like strawberry. And I love strawberry. Not like strawberry at all. Um, the burgers were delicious. The packaging on everything is just so cool. I'm, it's, it's almost like the packaging is a part of the, the experience. You know what I mean? Like, it is an experience. This little guy here, he's an experience. You, you think he's so cute. You're going to want to throw that into your bag and carry him around because he's adorable. Anyways, I'm going to go... But thank you so much again for watching. I feel like I'm out of focus. Um, it's been an issue this episode. So thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed another Taste Test Tuesday. And uh, I love eating on camera. That's all I can say. Anyways, have a great day and we'll see you soon. Bye, guys. Remember, guys, if you want to see my videos and get notified about them, you have to subscribe and you got to hit the bell or you won't know.